So, all right, using swales, protect the building pad from the groundwater flow. So one thing to say, first of all, is building pad is a kind of unusual term. Most architects, when they see the word pad, they think of concrete pad. Uh, and so they think of that as being a built thing. In actuality, in the terminology of the exam and in kind of uh, s uh, civil engineering terminology, building pad just means the sort of cleared out area that's ready to have uh, construction happen. So no construction has happened other than kind of general site preparation. So we have the building pad shown. It's uh, sort of a generalized area. Uh, this would not be necessarily the actual floor plan. Uh, it's just sort of that's the area where the building will go. But now we're talking about using swales. We want to protect that area. We look at the numbers off the side. They're high uh, up here and they're low uh, there. So the high point is over here. Uh, obviously, the thing we're worried about is if you imagine rain coming down here and flowing down the site. We don't want that rain to come into uh, our uh, building or even our construction site. So how do we stop that from happening? Well, okay, we're going to do a quickie here. I'm going to do some swales. I'm going to cut into that ground. I think we need some swale drawing music, please. Yes, yeah, so you can add a little. Uh... So what we've done there is we've dug out, we made a ditch here and here so that any water that's coming down this hill that's going to attack our building is going to be taken right around the building. So I might do something like that. These extra ones probably aren't necessary. But. So you're digging into the ground in order to control the flow of the water. So that was a little bonus one for you there. Uh, remember, it's really easy. There's a swale and a berm. A swale is a ditch. A berm is a mound. Very easy to get them confused because they flip around in your head. Uh, just you know, think about what it looks like when you're doing something like that. So if you imagine a little bit of uh, soil, right? So there's a slope piece of land. There's the contour lines uh, right on top of it. Imagine we dug a hole here. Well, that contour line would now look sort of like that, right? So you can see that it, the contour line, for lack of a better term, points uphill. See how these pointed uphill? So there you go.